What's up guys, are you ready for your next motorcycle trip? In this video I am going to talk about tools and spare parts. They are very important part of your luggage and you have to select it carefully. Don't worry, it is not that difficult, you don't need to be a mechanical guru or some kind of engineer to do it. Stay with me. Many of you guys take way too much. To start the trip with 10 or 15 kilograms of tools and spare parts is not the right decision. Even if you have half of your garage loaded, you still can miss or need something else. It is impossible to predict what is going to be, what tool or what spare parts you might need. The best way to minimize the tools and the spare parts is to make a proper preparation before the trip. Inspect the motorcycle very carefully. The time you're going to spend before the trip will eliminate 90% of the possible fails during the trip. Yes, 90%. You will still have 10% risk or possible fails, but they are only 10%. And the, the tools and the spare parts we're gonna prepare now will be exactly for this 10%. Let me explain it with more details. Change the oil and the filters before the trip. Even if you still have two or 3,000 kilometers left, change it. If you do, you don't need to carry oils and filters with you, unless you have more than 10,000 km trip. If this is the case, take only the filter, oil you can buy from everywhere. Instead of having four or more wheel bearings, change it before the trip. The, the normal bearings last about 20,000 km or longer, you don't need to carry as a spare with you. It is the same with your chain, your sprockets, spark plugs, brake pads, clutch and throttle cables, brake rotors and many more. The detailed video about it you can see somewhere here. I have seen many people carry a chain breaker. Yes, it is a very useful tool, but in the garage, not on the road. To use it or to break the chain, first you need to remove the head of the pin. To do so, you'll need a grinder or similar machine. You can't really do it on the road, unless you not carry the grinder as well. Maybe in some cases when you are going in the totally totally remote area without any people or, or villages or towns around, maybe it's the case to take your chain breaker. But you have to think about another tool to remove the head of the pin. Without doing it, you risk to break your chain breaker. <laughs> Sounds funny, break your chain breaker. Yes, it is very easy to break it. What I will suggest to carry just a simple master link. You will find somebody to help you to break your chain and just connect your master link or even change your chain. Another one example is the big tool sets with 50, 60, 100 or more parts. Guys, how many of these tools will fit on your bike? Some of you will disagree and will say yes, but you might need, yes, 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 you might need a hammer or two or 32 range or welding machine or whatever. I hope you understand what I mean. Also, when you carry all of those tools, are you able to do something with it or you will need help? Do you have a proper skills to use it? If you don't, better is to take only the parts. Somebody will help you to change it. I am not telling you that you shouldn't take anything with you. Of course you should. Like spare brake parts or spark plugs or even spare clutch or, or, or cables or whatever. What I'm basically trying to say is to reduce the weight as small as possible. To do it, you have to take the most important, but not like the most important for your wife, three or five big sweet cases. Really the most important stuff. The best way to know what tools you might need is to check all the numbers you already have on the bike. Just go around and check all the numbers you have. Just on your engine, on the frame, on the side panels everywhere. If it's possible, change the bolts to match with one tool, like I did here. So here I have the, this iron key for here, the same here, the same there, the same here on the top or another side and many more places on the bike. So actually I can remove about 20 different bolts just with one tool. It is the same with these side panels. I use the same iron key to change all of this. Another method is every time when you work on the bike to keep the tools you need on the side. Just put it in different uh, box and every time when you need a new tool, 
just add it in that box. At the end, you will have all the tools which are exactly for your motorcycle. Of course, this method is slow, it will take time. At the end, guys, it's going to be your decision what exactly you will take, but I will try to convince you that less is better. To do it, I'm gonna show you what I have, and it doesn't matter how long the trip is going to be. I always have the same tools. The first set I have here is to remove the front and rear wheel and also to remove the tires from the wheel. So what I have is just one key for both wheels, 22 for rear and front. Okay, for my case it's work, maybe it's not going to work for you, but it's a good to try and, and do it. In this case you save the weight of just one wrench. So maybe you'll say now eh, just one wrench, it's weight nothing, but when you have one, two, three, five, ten, twenty or fifty wrenches at the end, they wait. So I have uh, a two uh, tire brake levers and as you can see here guys, I cut it at the end because they've got that size more with the plastic handle, yeah they were very very uh, comfortable when you work with but they were too big too bulky and, and too heavy and I cannot keep it in, in my set so I cut it I have another one a little bit stronger harder and uh, I have this just empty pipe to use it in the case I need more arm like this if I need to to press harder or here like this I, I can use the same to have a longer arm on, on my range and of course set of uh, these alien keys and this uh, universal key in the case some of the numbers I don't have and all of these guys I, I kept in this small leather pocket just like this Keep it like that. And this is the first part. I have another one similar as the first one. And here I keep the rest of the tools I will need. All of these wrenches or screwdrivers or whatever whatever tool I have here, it's everything I need on my bike, only on my bike. I also have this pair of working gloves. So at the end, when I roll it like that, this is my second. I also have this air pump, you know how it's working, I already show you. I have uh, patches for, in the case I have a, a, a puncture flat tire, and I have these jump cables. All of that is going to this small bag, just like this. So guys, these three sets are basically all of my tools. And something very important guys, these tools are always on the bike. So here in this top small back, I keep all of the, the things for fixing the tire, like patches, air pump or something like that. The reason I keep it here because it is a light. The heavy stuff like this uh, 22 key and the tire levers and, and all of that, I keep here in, in this small plastic box just to keep my low center of uh, gravity the rest of the tools i keep here in this toolbox or tube box i don't know how to cut it exactly include the gloves i kept here so as i said all the time no matter where i'm going for one day two days three days so one month or two months the tools are always the same and they always stay on the bike spare parts that is everything guys, that is everything I have. This plastic bag, I'm gonna show you what I have in. And spare tube, usually I carry two tubes, 121 and 117, but if you don't want to carry both, you can have only 21, and in the case of emergency, you can use it on the rear as well. Okay, let me open this box for you, and to show you what I have. So, zip ties, I don't need to describe you for what. I have some fuses, double tape I have a, a master link actually two master links. some cables in the case I need 
and this is voltage regulator it's very important for my motorcycle because there are actually a lot of numbers of failed voltage regulator so I always keep one with me another one spark plug and of course the clutch plates the clutch plates guys take not so much space but they are something very important I don't need to tell you how important they are especially if you burn your clutch somewhere in the middle of nowhere and you cannot find spare so I just put it here on the bottom of that box voltage regulator and the rest of the tools in and as you can see they do not require so much space and because of the plastic box the clutch plates are protected so I cannot damage it incidentally and this weight I don't know maybe no more than three four hundred grams maybe five hundred grams but that guys is everything I carry so guys you saw my tools you saw my spare parts and this is pretty much everything I carry always with me no more than two kilograms believe me you don't need more than that in last five years i've been to i don't know how many countries and how many thousand kilometers but what i realized that if you have a huge major uh, technical problem you can't fix it anyway so there is no reason to bring such a heavy and uh, such a number of tools if you cannot really use it i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like and don't forget to subscribe for a new video every week Ride safe. Ciao.